On behalf of the Board of Education, Superintendent Mr. Richardson, our faculty and our staff, I would like to welcome everyone to our very special event, the 2021 Hoopston Veterans Day program. My name is John Claber, and I am the principal at Hoopston Area High School. We appreciate all of you being able to join us today, and I would especially like to thank Mr. Tim Walsh for all of his countless hours of time and effort to make this presentation possible. Our Veterans Day program is an opportunity for all of us to show our respect and appreciation to our veterans for their service, honor, and sacrifice for our country in support of our way of life and to protect our freedom. Today is an opportunity to think about those who have served and are currently serving our country so proudly. Many of us can think of a special veteran in our lives, and today they are here in our hearts and minds, and I thank all of them and I thank all of you for being here and part of this tribute today. Our veterans teach us lessons in commitment, service, and dedication. They give to all of us without asking for anything in return. They protect us, support us, and save us every day. For their commitment and service, today we honor them with this ceremony. At this time, I ask that you rise for the presentation of the colors presented by the Hoopston Area American Legion. And please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem by the Hoopston Area High School Band, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I would now like to introduce Kurt Bach, retired Air Force Colonel, to talk about his and his family's history of military service and the importance of Veterans Day. Welcome, Kurt Bach. I appreciate being asked by your school to talk about Veterans Day as you celebrate Veterans Day. And I think the best way of doing this is to tell three stories, the stories of three veterans uh, over three different generations, my grandfather, my father, and myself, because each one of us served in the U.S. military, Navy, Army, and the Air Force over three different generations. So let's see their stories. My grandfather was born in Elkhart, Illinois uh, in 1897 and in 1918 joined the U.S. Navy at the beginning of the America's entry into the World War I. A small town boy from Elkhart found himself uh, on the USS Winslow fl flying the U.S. flag in the North Atlantic protecting shipping. Uh, it was a life-changing event for my grandfather because he had never been away from Elkhart, Illinois, Logan County for that matters, but he found himself on the destroyer USS Winslow. Uh, it was uh, a different life for him and something that uh, no farm boy uh, from Illinois could have imagined. Uh, 
putting depth charges into the water of the cold North Atlantic uh, while they were sailing uh, between the United States and Europe. My grandfather wrote literally hundreds of letters home. There was no email, there was no texting. And so my great grandmother kept each one of his letters that we share today because it shows uh, how he felt serving in the Navy at a time when, you know, people just didn't go far away from home. And it showed that by all the various pictures he sent back at the end of the war. But at the end of the war uh, came, uh, the armistice was signed, and in 1919, he found himself discharged honorably uh, from the U.S. Navy and the USS Winslow. Very proud of that. 30 years later, as we start, a little over 30 years, we started World War Two, my father found his uh, self on his way to enlisting in the U.S. Army. And uh, as he did, he'd not been away from home too much uh, growing up in Leroy, Illinois. And once again, he wrote, like my grandfather did, literally hundreds of letters back home. Um, and we have those today, and we can go and see how my father uh, made his way from Missouri all the way through uh, to Philadelphia, back to the West Coast, and then to the South Pacific, where he also wrote lots of letters home, talking about the people he served with, talking about the uh, the, uh, the 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 kind of food they were eating, and kind of uh, how much he missed uh, the people uh, back home, but how proud he was uh, to be serving with uh, the many men. Uh, that he served with. He found himself in uh, the South Pacific in the Philippines, Corregidor, and in uh, New Guinea. And his job was in the Signal Corps and he was a combat photographer. So he would go to battle with a uh, pistol on his hip and a camera, as he used to say. And it was always interesting. He didn't talk much about it, but it was something that he, I know he was very, very proud of. Um, one of the most important things that he did was he, he was part of the waves that went on shore at Watkey Island, which was one of the islands they needed to secure uh, away from the enemy. And it was an amazing time and a very uh, harrowing time for him. And he left a diary about it that we, that we read today. Uh, part of that was he was wounded, he was awarded a Purple Heart, and he found himself once again discharged back to civilian life in December of 1945. Uh, he was very proud to have served in the Army, but also proud of being able to go back to his hometown. 30 years after that, I joined uh, the U.S. Air Force via the four years at the Air Force Academy, graduating in 1975. And uh, my first airplane flight was in fact to fly to the Academy. And I found myself uh, absolutely thrilled to have gone to pilot training and become a pilot in the Air Force. And that's something that I pursued for 28 years, serving all over the, the world, uh, flying in various airplanes. Uh, very proud to have uh, worn a flight suit with an Air Force flag on my, on my shoulder. And it was a wonderful career, and I've got many, many, many uh, wonderful memories from that, but mainly because of the people I served with and the missions that I was a part of. They were all important and very, uh, just just something that I treasure today. And, and uh, I ended up as a colonel, and I finished my career as a colonel, uh, proud to have served for 28 years of active duty all over uh, the world and that makes me the third generation veteran. We were all three absolutely proud to serve and so what I think I'd like to leave you with are three things that I think are important to remember on Veterans Day. People, pride, and patriotism. You know all three of us served uh, at various times and always remember the people we served with, the people that uh, were far away from home, did things that were uh, dangerous, uh, all uh, taking care of each other, but also learning about each other. So the, the people part 
of Veterans Day, I think means something to each one of us who have served. Certainly pride. Uh, there is nothing uh, more uh, uh, will get your heart in your throat than when you see the U.S. flag flown, not in front of your school necessarily or in front of a post office, but when you see it flown overseas, see it flown uh, as my grandfather did on USS Winslow, as my dad did when they were in Corregidor in the Philippines, they were in New Guinea, and uh, as I used to see when we traveled all over the world, lived all over the world, uh, see the U.S. flag being flown in front of our embassies, on the tails of our airplanes that we flew, all showing the pride that we have in being a part of the U.S. military. And last part is patriotism, um, which is a word sometimes is difficult for people to talk about, but it, it talks about loving your country and about being uh, focused on the great things your country provides. All of us, my grandfather, my father, and I took an oath of office to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, enemies foreign domestic, and that, that's a patriotic act. So being able to think great things about your country who has done great things in the world is absolutely important. The one thing we all shared in common that we share with you is we were all from small towns. Uh, my grandfather from uh, Elkhart, myself and my dad from Leroy, uh, all those things in terms of people, pride, and patriotism are available where you live and where I grew up and where they grew up. And so on today, Veterans Day, or as you celebrate Veterans Day, I think it's important to understand that veterans loved serving. They loved the people that they served with. They did it with pride and they did it for patriotism. So when you say thanks, it means a lot. And I know in your community around Hoopston, there are literally thousands of veterans who we owe a debt of gratitude for their service. Thank you for remembering them. My country
Bouchard.
At this time, I ask that everyone rise and join me in a 30-second moment of silence for our fallen veterans, which will be followed by the placement of the helmet ceremony. 